Voting has ended for the second and final phase of the assembly elections in the western Indian state of Gujarat. The results for the 182-member Gujarat assembly will be declared on the 18th of December. At 8 p.m. tonight, tune into Vion for the most comprehensive poll of polls and find out who will win the prestige battle in Gujarat. Prime Minister Narendra Modi's popularity in Gujarat and the much-touted state's model of development will be pitted against the Congress President-elect Rahul Gandhi's call for change. It was nothing short of a high-voltage campaign in Gujarat, largely centered around Narendra Modi and Rahul Gandhi. Acrimonious exchanges ruled the entire poll campaign. It is a matter of prestige for the Bharatiya Janata Party since Gujarat is Prime Minister Narendra Modi's home state. He was Chief Minister of the state for 12 years. The BJP has been ruling in Gujarat for 22 years now. Today, the whole country and the world the Vikas ka model बखाना जाता है उसकी प्रशंसा होती है मैं मानता हूं कि यही क्रम को बरकरार रखने के लिए गुजरात की जनता ने बड़ी भारी संख्या में मतदान करना चाहिए और जो विकास के विरोध का माहौल बना रहे हैं उनको विफल करने के लिए भारी संख्या में मतदान बनाना चाहिए करना चाहिए गुजरात ने पिछले कई वर्षों से अपनी विकास यात्रा में अच्छी प्रगति की है और मुझे पूरा विश्वास है कि गुजरात की जनता बहुत अधिक मात्रा में बाहर आए मैं उनसे अपील भी करता हूं वोट डालने के लिए इस विकास यात्रा को कायम रखें Rahul Gandhi has run a consistent campaign focusing on jobs, growth and farm distress in Gujarat. But it is the clout of Rahul's ally, 23-year-old Patidar leader Hardik Patel, that has been making the BJP a bit nervous. अच्छा आरे वो हमारे लिए बड़ा मुद्दा है। आप क्या आपको क्या लगता है कितना असर देखते हैं आप दूसरे फेज में भी तिरानबे सीटें हैं विधानसभा अच्छा होगा मुझे भरोसा है लोग जो भी फैसला करेंगे काफी अच्छा करेंगे। And we are joined on this story by our correspondent who is currently in Gujarat uh, attending uh, all the last events uh, during the last phase of the poll, Pragya Jha. And then we also have our senior correspondent, Raghavendra Rao. First with you, Pragya. So it's definitely a VIP election. What's at stake, very quickly, for the participants? That's right, Daniele. This was the last, the final leg of the 2017 Gujarat Assembly elections. And today was the day when VVIP candidates, in fact, came, descended in the city of uh, Ahmedabad, the capital of Gujarat. So we saw Amit Shah, the party's president. We also saw Finance Minister Arun Jaitley. And the high point of today, the final leg of the campaign, uh, the final leg of the voting day, polling day, was when Prime Minister Narendra Modi arrived in uh, Sabarmati Assembly constituency's Ranip area to cast his ballot. Now at that time, the kind of revelry, because we were in touch even then uh, via the phone line and I was telling you and you could hear in the background the kind of revelry and the kind of chanting uh, that was on uh, while, the while, while the Prime Minister entered uh, you know, the premises of the polling booth, the polling station there and the excitement was palpable. Other than that, the figures that emerged so far in terms of the voter turnout that is, you know, officially out, this was until 4 p.m. In Ahmedabad city, the voter turnout has been beyond 60%. It is set to rise because there are many voters who already have entered the voting premises, uh, right. you know, before 5 p.m. So that voting will be considered. They will be allowed to cast their votes. And this voting, the final voter turnout comes around, uh, say, post 7.30 sometime. And that's when we get a very clear figure as to what has been the voter turnout in Ahmedabad or in the state so far. 
Raghavendra, question for you. Uh, the BJP should be perhaps nervous because Hardik Patel might be an obstacle to their path to victory. Maybe even more than the Congress because the Patels are actually fishing into the pool. The same pool where the BJP will fish. Is it correct? Well, yes, uh, it's, it's a fair observation, Daniele, but more than Hardik Patel, what the BJP right now would be wary of is a resurgent Congress in the state. The kind of uh, high-pitched campaigning we have seen from the Congress led by Rahul Gandhi. Uh, the Congress clearly seems to be on a resurgent mode as far as Gujarat is uh, concerned. Rarely we have seen uh, such kind of a campaign, such kind of an aggressive campaign at that by the Congress party in uh, many elections which we have seen ever since uh, the BJP stormed to power at the center in 2014. In fact, since 2014, it has been more or less a BJP juggernaut that has rolled on across the country. They have won most of the elections just barring a few states like Delhi and Bihar and the BJP juggernaut has been rolling non-stop but the fact that it is a high-pitched battle it's a battle of prestige for the BJP given the fact that Prime Minister Modi has been the chief minister of the state for 12 years the BJP has been in power there for 22 years the stakes are really high and the Congress now in, the, in a resurgent mode is eyeing a big opportunity here. They feel that if they are able to make a mark in Gujarat, if they are able to upstage the BJP government in the state, uh, they might well be on course for recovery and they might be in a position to resurrect themselves just in right. time before the next Lok Sabha elections.